What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael Mitchell aka Dollar Mike back at it again with another video and you guys might notice I'm wearing the same clothes. Yes, I am wearing the same clothes because I made another video today. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. Like the video. Anyway, um, you guys may remember that or you may not if you're not if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button by the way. Um, you guys may or may not remember I made a video a while back on why I closed my savings account with Bank of America because that was my primary bank at the time. Still pretty much is, but yeah. So I closed my savings account. I closed it for a couple of reasons, mainly fees. That was the main thing. Fees was killing me. Um, I didn't see the value. Uh, well, I definitely didn't see the value. The fees were just ridiculous. I mean, you had to have, I think, over $500 in the account, which at the time I did. But if I dropped below $500 any day, then they would charge me like a five dollar fee it was a whole bunch of different like fees and stuff so the account got closed i was done i made a whole video about it go check it out what did i do with my savings account money because i need somewhere for it to go so that's where i actually opened up a well i did some research first and then i actually opened up a wealthfront account which is a high interest savings account if you don't know what a high interest savings account is well, I'm going to tell you basically like banks like Bank of America or whatever bank you might have. Maybe you have a credit union. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know your life. If you want to tell me in the comment section, sure, drop a comment. But yeah, banks like that or just big banks and stuff like that, they have savings accounts, which are fine and all that, you know, they help you with your savings. You can transfer your money freely between your savings and your checking instantly, all that good jazz. But usually they don't, but usually they also have fees, which is why I close mine. And they also don't offer you any interest on the money that you keep in your account. Bank of America, I believe their interest rates are like 0.001 or 0 0.01 or something like that. So if I had like, if I had like $10,000 in the bank, I would get like a dollar within that one year. So that's that sucks. I mean, it literally sucks. If I had $10,000 in my Bank of America savings account right now, they probably would give me about a dollar or two a year, something like that. If I had $10,000 in my Wealthfront account right now, they would have gave me $200 about a year because of the high interest savings account. And I can put a list on the screen for all the banks that do, but Discover Bank, you get a 1.9 APR, which is what it is. So 1.9% times whatever you have in your account so if you have a if you have ten thousand dollars in your account that 1.9 percent is 190 dollars a year you're getting for free for absolutely absolutely doing no work zero nothing nothing all you have to do is have ten thousand dollars sitting there at that time and boom that's the 190 dollars you're getting every single year which might not sound like a lot of money but if you get more money you get more, you get more money, you get more, and you can still use it as a savings account. And you can still take your money out anytime you want. It's not like an investment account where you put, you're putting your money into stocks and bonds and stuff like that. And it's kind of locked up. Or if like you make, you know, if you make profit, then you got to pay taxes on the profit. Oh, it's not like that. You take your money out anytime you want. It's not going to be as fast as your bank savings account because you can just transfer that money instantly, but you can still get your money in about two days, two business days. I use Wealthfront. Wealthfront offers a 2.07 currently. These are always subject to change, but at the end of the day, if you're saving money with a high interest rate or a high interest savings account, best bet is gonna be somewhere in the round. It's right now, it's looking like it'll be somewhere in that 1.8 to 2.7 range. Wellfront was at one point at 2.69. That's actually when I signed up, which is insane. But you know, things change. They can change the, the uh, APR anytime they feel like it. But for the most part, they don't wanna go too low because then they'll lose your business because you can just take all your money out and go somewhere else. That's the best part about it. You don't have to worry about anything. And most of these things, they even give you promotions and stuff. So I think with uh, the Discover Discover Bank or whatever, if you if you invest with them like $15,000, if you have it, I don't know if you have it, but if you invest with them $15,000, they'll give you an extra $250 just for opening an account. That might seem like nothing because you already have $15,000, but you literally did nothing to get $250. Do so you see what I'm saying? Literally, that's all I've had my savings account money in. This is my high interest savings account is my new savings account currently because bank fees suck. Bank interest rates definitely suck. Oh my, they're just terrible. Unless you really need it, it I don't see the necessary reason to have a savings account with a bank because you have to pay. Usually there's fees. Maybe your bank doesn't have fees. If, they, if your bank doesn't have fees for your savings accounts or and has a high interest rate on their savings account let me know because i'll sign up for the bank let other people know down in the comment section they'll sign up for the bank because that makes a lot of sense that's that's great but generally speaking the ones that the well-known ones bank of america chase um m t they don't really have the best interest rates they definitely do have fees another thing about the high interest savings account none of them have any fees at all so you can have a dollar in there and they won't charge you anything 
and it won't go against you. But you know, if you had that dollar in your bank savings account, best believe they'd be like, well, we're gonna need at least 25, we need at least 300, 500, 1,000, whatever your bank is, I don't know. But like I said, I'm just here to help you. I'm here to help you save more money. This way, you're saving money and you're making money without doing anything extra at all. You literally just had the money sit there, it literally builds up, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, sign up for a high interest savings account. Like I said before, I have the Wealthfront one. That Wellfront is um, an app on my phone, deposit the money, I put deposit money every week, and boom. But you don't have to use Wellfront. If you just type in high interest savings account on Google, plenty, plenty available. Citibank, Discover Bank, Betterment, UFB Direct, Marcus by Goldman Sachs, so Sophie Money, is it Sophie or Sofi? Hmm. I wonder. Ally Bank, great bank by the way. Ally Bank's great bank. HSBC, Barclay, American Express. They all offer high interest savings account with no fees and you're getting free money for doing nothing so make sure you sign up also make sure you check out my giveaway because my giveaway is going on if you made it to the end of this video make sure you hit that like my giveaway is going on it ends this friday uh if you'd like any if you like well obviously if you like this video hit, hit that like button if you didn't like it i'm sorry I, i'm sorry i disappointed you tell me why you didn't like it and hit that dislike button yeah that's about it if you like anything if you like all that saving stuff that investing stuff that credit stuff the videos i do the psa's the the vlog savings videos whatever the fun videos i don't know if you like anything on my channel let me know like i'm always open send me a message on instagram twitter down in the comments doesn't matter um i read everything i'll message you back for sure it's not really an issue it's already happened before so yeah uh that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video i'm out dollar mike